Uh, good evening to all my uh, fellow uh, YouTubers. Um, and, and there seems to be a, a very, very large discrepancy out here. And it's, it's something that I, I wish to address uh, to not only those in the martial arts community, uh, to the MMA community, to the boxing community, to, uh, you know, to just about anybody um, out there who, who sincerely takes, you know, any form of martial art uh, seriously. Um, you know, I've, I've been following uh, quite a number of, uh, of videos. Uh, by this gentleman, uh, I'm not even going to mention your name. Mention your name, you know. You, I, I think your cheap polyester suits, uh, drinking of scotch. I mean, I've done it myself in a video if I'm having a rough day, whatever. But you know, the whole Hollywood Hollywood theme you're taking to this uh, in your attempt to grind someone like Stephen K. Hayes, into the ground, uh, is deplorable. I think it shows no, um, no respect to the community. Uh, obviously not a lack of humi humility on your part. Um, you know, driving around in your little Porsche and talking about the death squad, by the way, you should be very, very careful. Uh, I would be very careful being in some places in Tokyo and speaking in the tongue of which you are doing in this one video there. This is called Stephen K. Hayes $50,000 Challenge. Um, personally, I think you and I both know this, that he's a master swordsman. He is a master swordsman. Okay. He's also one of the very, very rare. You ever see the movie Kill Bill? Okay. You know about swords. I don't have to drop this person's name. He's been dead since about 1989. But he's a very, very infamous, very notorious, all-out legend when it comes to sword making. His 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 first his first name starts with an H and a Y. That's all I'm gonna say. If you know the name there, uh, I don't even know your name, Nick Stalper. Okay. If you know the name, hit me up in a message or something, and maybe I think I'll 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 take it a little bit more seriously. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna drop that sword maker name. Uh, I'm sure uh, Stephen K Hay Stephen K Hayes uh, knows of him quite well. He owns two swords. I know that much about the man that I can say this, that um, that uh, some of his techniques um, that he's used, and by the way, I've never seen him uh, attempt a, a no-contact knockout or any of this fake uh, bastardized martial arts crap uh, that you so-called uh, have seen. I've never... I've, I've, I've seen a couple of his videos where, of course... Um, they're more exhibition, you know, to get people interested in the community than anything else. Um, I know for a fact in the classroom, uh, his students, <laughs> his uh, his students, I know one of his students, um, and I can tell you that. Uh, yeah, it's not an easy go for those guys there. You know? It's not an easy go. And to to say that, uh, well, I wouldn't mention Ali and Stephen K. Hayes in the same sentence. You know, Ali's to actually fight. So, by definition, you, you're saying that Stephen K. Hayes has, has never had to fight in his life or never had a fight in his life. Why? Because it wasn't televised? Why? Because it wasn't part of Paramount Pictures or some fucking Jet Li spinoff?
I think I think you have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You know, it it it, it sickens me. Um, you sicken me, Nick. So, um, and if you've noticed, I, 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 I'm only subscribing to your channel so I can, I can kind of, you know, you know what I mean? Believe it or not, um, is, is, is very, by, by the way, it's, it's very, very honorable. This is about the only thing I can say is that you want to, <clears throat> you know, you want to give uh, uh, shed a little bit of light on, you know, fact versus fiction. Cool. Um, there are, by the way, a few martial artists that I've actually seen in UFC fights that have gone back in that position purposely to give that person the top. That's right. And then choke their fucking lights out. Nick Diaz has done that. Okay? With Tito Ortiz and almost choked the shit out of Tito. Okay? Yeah, from the bottom. Escaping a fucking lake. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay? Actually, but I believe uh, if I'm correct, their last Tito in his last fight... Um... He did that and actually ended up flipped him, pancaked him, and finished him off with some. But believe it or not, believe it or not, had him in a in a cobra choke. If you know what a co if you know what a cobra choke is, okay, a cobra choke where you go under under the under the chin, over the top, but from the bottom, right? From the bottom, okay, and. You know, believe it or not, actually, a cobra choke can be a much more effective tool from the bottom than it than it would be from the top. I mean, applying you're on top of somebody's back, you're not going to use a cobra choke because there's no sense in doing that. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not talking about a cobra clutch like a sleeper or WWE shit. I'm talking about a cobra choke. If you know how to apply a real cobra choke, okay then it's, you know, okay, it doesn't need to be said. Um, you know, it's the same thing, too. Uh, you know, I was actually, believe it or not, and this is one thing I will actually say, uh, was um, I love watching Mr. Hayes' videos. Um, I'm a little bit of a martial artist myself. I have, uh, I'll just say I have extensive training, okay? I'm not going to say anything else. Um but uh, I've taken about three different styles of jiu-jitsu, all from the same instructor, who is a third-degree black belt, who's studied over in Japan, not fucking Brazil, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. You guys can do whatever the fuck, say whatever the fuck you want. The gi? Like, yeah, great. The gi's great, right? For choking, for doing all this Hoyas Gracie let me tell you something, okay? When I started taking tiger form, okay? They taught everything from a horse, from a horse, horse stance, right to casual, okay? Right to casual. And they always taught us as well to keep, to keep our hand our hand in a slight they call it that's why it's called tiger as well okay and it's like when you're speaking to someone in an aggressive situation okay to keep the hand moving to keep the hand moving okay to keep the hand moving and also and also a lot of people don't understand this that that traditionally the art of jiu-jitsu is is really for defense it is only until maybe about the early early 20th century that there were a couple of them again i'm not gonna sit here and, and I, I really want to hear your response to this video but if you know anything 
um, about how Tiger, the development of the technique of Tiger Jiu-Jitsu came along. Now, they also have a leopard style, by the way, which I, I did not take. Uh, they have a bear style as well. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. There are, Jiu-Jitsu has about 24 different, different uh, forms uh, currently right now. Um, you know, and, 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 uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, is just another form. It's just another form. So when I, when I hear people talk, speak of Brazilian, Brazilian, I mean, what are you going to do? Get a bikini wax? You know what I mean? Shut up in there. I'm not talking to you. Uh, I'm not, I, I get really, really offended I think that art deserves a lot more respect from a lot of its participants. And Nick, I would be extremely careful. Extremely careful. You just never know, you know, I'd be extremely careful to make to make very 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 unfound and and it's almost like you're 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 trying to put it out there that that Stephen K Hayes is is a complete uh, fake that he's never done anything accomplished anything for the martial art world that he's never you know he's almost like you're fucking going there and um, you have to be careful about that sort of thing. You're going to give, you're going to maybe give, you know, the wrong person the wrong impression. And you just have to be careful. That's all I'm saying. Just be careful. Okay? So, you know, your little rayon polyester suits and stuff. And I know, by the way, I, by the way, uh, I know you're very well off. Uh, I've already done a lot of research on you. Well, you know, you know, okay, but it, you know what, um, your bank account will not save your teeth, you understand? You know, they will not save, you know, you know, if the wrong person hears you speaking the way you are in that video, like, you may not get, they may not walk up and tap you on the shoulder you know what I mean if you're in the wrong part of town they may just you know reach right around and give you a fucking cattle shoot throw or they may or they may put you in a rear naked choke or you know a lot of bad things can happen bro and you're just gonna you know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna bring about you're gonna bring about you know, and then, then, of course, you know, people are going to jump on the bandwagon. Oh, he was victimized. He was, you know, stuff like that. Oh, people shouldn't, you know, react badly just because you're saying something. Well, huh. if you know anything about that culture, it's very serious. Like, it's very serious. People take their, 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 it has nothing to do with reputation. Reputation, reputation is repetition, baby. It just comes with practice. You, you practice, you study. You learn, earn, teach, and return. That's it. You know, that's what that's all about. So you hope, but you have to be very, very careful about the things that you say as well. I don't know, just me, you know, I'm a pretty simple minded guy, uh, but I, I like, can't really see it, I don't know if you see my hands or not, you know, I've been pretty well worked over the years, and, um, you know, I just find it pretty disrespectful, uh, I'm glad, you know, probably going to get, get a kick out of this video, um, you know, but, but really, and by the way, uh, 
you don't have that many followers. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, you're subscribed to the UFC. I don't see them subscribed to you. You're subscribed to MMA Fighting, uh, SBN. You're subscribed to all these channels. I'm looking through your channel right now, Nick, and and you have some follow. I'm not saying you don't have followers, but by the way, my channel's quite new. I use this just to follow world events and 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 to troll people like you. But but it's. Uh, I felt that this needed to be said. So from me to you, you know, it is what it is. You know. So you could just sit back and be humble about it or whatever.